next step, I think I would like to uh, add the fireflies now. And I'm going to do that by creating another layer. I'm going to go into colors and I'm going to click on the more orangey area and I'm going to click, I want to be more orangey right here. And I'm going to go and change the where it says normal. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to change it into screen mode. <clears throat> and then in the lamp with a small brush tool, I'm going to start painting fireflies. Oops, I forgot I need to change the opacity to 100. And I'm going to start painting fireflies. And I'm going to keep changing the size of the brush from small to big. And then I'm going to click on the lighter area in the colors. And I am going to add a little bit more. Here we go. Just keep changing the side. Go like right now I'm going to go big and then I'm going to go small. And it's okay if they kind of overlap on the color. There we go. And then what I want to do, I want to create the light bugs, uh, light bugs, fireflies, I guess, all around her. So I'm going to click on another layer right here. And I'm going to go back to the darker color. And I'm going to make sure that this one is set to screen. Uh, and with a large brush, I'm going to paint a few around this and this. And then I'm going to change the colors. I'm going to make some of them a little bigger right here. And then um, just keep changing color and just keep changing sizes. Is it good? And I'm going to create some light by fireflies that looks like more to make it more realistic that they're moving around so I'm going to create another layer and I'm basically going to do the same thing just different colors make sure that this normal is set to screen over here and just paint a few more over here change size a little more of different color right here and do the skinny I'm going to add it on to some of them right here on some of the darker ones there we go there and what I wanted to do is just kind of be around her and I'm going to make like so it's more realistic, just one maybe around her like this. Looks good. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some movement. I'm going to go into filter, go into the blur, and choose motion blur. And it looks like the fireflies are kind of flying around her. And the angle is set at 5 degrees and distance is set at 129 pixels. And you can change how much of movement you want by changing the distance right here. And you can change the way that you want the blur to be by changing the angle. And you can just do that by changing the radius. And I want it to be more like flat like this. That looks good. I'm going to press OK. And for the next step, I want to give it more of a night feel. And I'm going to do that by going into Adjustments, clicking on the Curve tool. And where it says RGB, click on that. Click on blue and this time bring the middle bar up a bit and it adds a nice little blue, bluish tones to the picture so it makes it feel more like nightlight. And that looks good. I'm going to keep everything the way it is. The 
Next up, I would like to bring a little bit more light around her face, and I'm going to do that by clicking on the Layers tool, clicking on Color, and with a... This color looks good. With a soft brush, I'm just going to click right here, change the normal mode to Screen, and that looks about right, right here. And to bring a little more, I would like to darken around her a bit, so I'm going to go back to Adjustments, Click on Curves tool where it says RGB and then drag the middle bar down. And then because this one is set in white, set this foreground into black. So I'm going to press X to black. And with a large brush tool, I'm just going to brush around her like this. Just like that. So here you go. This is the final image. I hope you like it.